big quang in the cut. You know how it gets, man. Zone 2, YPB and that. You're locked into Media Spotlight UK. Come on. This is Jay Bills for Media Spotlight UK, and I'm here with another special guest in the building. Come on, Quinn Quen Face. face. What, you saying, Jay? what are you saying, brother? I'm there still. Uh, yeah, still, you're man. about there still. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I hear that you're grow- growing up in Peckham. Yeah. Um, now, firstly, have you? Are you still in Peckham, or you moved out? No, nah, man, I'm in the suburbs now. Still. Oh, is it? Yes. Okay, which part of the suburbs? <laughs> suburbs. Like? I'm not gonna tell you. I don't know, no, but I mean, is it, is it, is it, is it like like proper out out? Kind of, like, kind of a, like an hour out, oh, oh, innit? Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay, I hear right. that. I'm in the Fully suburb. gentrified in that. New oh, is it? B- new builds in that. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because like, I'm from the suburbs as well, but okay. I'm kind of like an hour into the city. Okay, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah it's, okay. A, it's, a, it's a long one when you've got, like, trains, then you got to change over. Yeah, yeah. It takes me at least an hour to get to Central. I think it takes long. me, like, 47 minutes? 47? Yeah, yeah it's not well. But that's the thing. That's train, innit? If you're driving, it's driving probably, like, an hour. So... Like, so growing up in Peckham and obviously you moved out now, what is the biggest life lesson that you've taken away from it? As in like, is it like the surroundings that you've been in? Is it like the people you're around? Like the the way of like not giving a shit? Like what is the biggest life lesson you took away from Peckham? Just can't trust no one now. Yeah. Mm. Still, you can't trust no one. Still, I th- Peckham did teach me a lot, innit? But mm. people have a lot of bad traits, innit? Yeah. It helped you read people a lot better in that area still. Okay. And, and read situations as well, car. I used to live in the middle of so much bullshit, innit? Mm. Like, Peckham is an in-house area, innit? Mm. Like, there's bare in-house problems. Mm, like. mm, mm. So, like, I used to live right in the middle of it, like. Mm. So, you either had to just not be involved or fully be involved, you get yeah. it, like. So, it taught you, like, kind of how to move smart. Yeah. Move by yourself, choose choose your friends wisely, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah, so. Because you don't want it to be like, you know, you fall into the wrong yeah, sort of like, situation and then you're you know caught I mean? up in something and then you, you can't get out of it. Yeah. No one's there. So. Um, so in the drill scene, like mm. there's loads of drill artists that are out there at the moment. But yeah. what particularly for you inspired you to get involved in that scene? Because it like it's growing a yeah. lot of attention, a, yeah. a lot of millions of views on YouTube. Yeah. So what got you involved in getting to the drill scene? I think that that's just my that was just my age group. Mm. That was just Is it like a new generation thing. Kind of, yeah. yeah. Kind of still is like yeah. an offspring of Graham, isn't it? Mm. Like, so now. Uh, do you think do you think that uh, drill is potentially going to be like say how grime was mm. um there was a time when grime was really impactful let's say yeah. in the early 2000s yeah, and then you got yeah. like new developments of different sounds yeah do you reckon that drill is going to be the sound that's going to be ongoing for a very long time no do you reckon it all like fall out and then come back into place again as it'll in come like back, a, it'll come back into place but uh, yeah. something different it won't yeah. come back as drill kind the way like because it's always like a wave to things, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. And like the way the government and the and the police are trying to shut things down, and mm. the, so yeah, I don't think it's gonna last. I mean, because it's quite quite similar to how the grime scene was. There's yeah, a lot of raves yeah, that were yeah, shut yeah. down, but then look at where grime is now, yeah. and it's still persevering. Yeah. No, yeah. I hear you still, but with drills different, car. I yeah. don't know, man. Like, think about all the the popping, mad popping drill artists. They're mm. all in jail. You get sucked. True. They they get popping, then true. they get sent down for something. It's true. Boom, and by the time. They by the, they either get like a long time, mm. or by the time they come out, they're not as popping mm. anymore. And I feel like that's how they're gonna be fucking up the drill thing. Mm. Cause everyone that's popping and that, I don't know. I don't know why. I don't mm. know if it's what it is. I don't know if it's a curse or what. Mm. This gold jail, like you yeah. know. Just but I mean, you're 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 about like so you know yeah, you haven't got I, yourself. I want to say I'm up there, up there like that. Mm. I want to say I'm, I'm still like. I mean, you're upcoming, but you got yeah, you got like your man. you got your core fan base, which means that you got something strong there already. Wow, You've already definitely. got a foundation there. Definitely, definitely, definitely. You know? um, so I've heard in an interview that like American artists that like you were kind of growing up listening to, like Chief Keef, yeah, like Lil Durk was one yeah, of your yeah, favorites. Yeah. Um, if say one of them, because I heard that you're not really a guy for features, yeah. But if say like one of them came to you, because I mean, a lot of music gets driven worldwide yeah, now, yeah. especially in our day and age. If they said to you, like, let's do a feature, like, I want to feature you on it, would you be more like, yes, I'll do it? Or you're kind of, like, hesitant in that because you don't want to do no features? No, do you know what it is, yeah? Mm. Like, I'll be psyched. I'll be psyched that they want to fucking do something with me, innit? Mm. But not every feature bangs, though. Mm. Not everything bangs. So mm. I, I've seen a lot of dons do tunes with each other, but, yeah. like, their sounds aren't similar or they can't 
jump on each other's sounds, so mm. it won't bang. Do you get it? So if I if the artist shouts me and I mm. feel like the sound like my sound and their sound together could mm. be a madness. That it mix. Yeah, then I'm on it. Yeah. I'm on it, innit? But if I feel like, oh yeah, this could be just be a waste. Are you just more conscious of the fact that obviously, you know, what we just talked about, you growing up and obviously, you know, not trusting anybody as yeah. what you were saying and then just keeping to yourself and not stay you know staying in the right places or whatever is that become the mentality of when it comes to making tunes and stuff kind of yeah kind of still i'm i'm like that with, like regardless with anything can mm-hmm. anything can like that's how i am mm. so i could say yeah kind of okay um now i saw a tweet it kind of made me laugh a bit but i i wanted to get your take on it because like i don't know whether you felt pissed off with it or you or i mean you retweeted it so it's basically like a meme going around of the whole takashi 69 situation oh yeah and uh then the judge was saying um you're still looking at a minimum of 20 years yeah and then 69 or the joke says you you heard of that dude quen yeah, face yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you saw that like how did you respond to that i was just thinking this it, it, like people are just stupid that like, <laughs> it's just too stupid that like. it's, it's actually funny still cause, yeah because they're just taking a piss out of man. Yeah, because anything can be made into a yeah, meme these days. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Car took hot. Yeah, 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 they're basically yeah. just trying to say, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. So I they must have sort of think like, yeah, Quen phase, yeah. let's do something yeah, on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. other ones. Um, so obviously with the Bally, mm-hmm. that's your unique feature about yeah. you. Um, now, was it a conscious decision that you were thinking to yourself, like, was it because you didn't want to be identified by, like, say, police or whatever? Or was it more to, more so like when you got into the music, that it was something that you wanted to try something different on, like just like, you know, no face, no case, it's all about the music. I just, I didn't want to be identified mm. still. Yeah, mm. Like, there's a lot of things that I was saying that was a bit mad. Mm. Like, if I said that with my face on, mm. like, mm. okay, yeah. so now now it's just more so like, you know, no face, no case, yeah. that sort of one. Yeah. Um, have you ever thought of doing it as much? Because obviously you've got different types of ballets that you've been rocking. Yeah. Like, I've, I've, I've I did see the ninja face one today because yeah. I was hoping for that one still. No, no, no. I couldn't even find a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so when you when you find a bally, is it literally like you go against the outfit that you're wearing at the time? Sometimes. Yeah. It depends still. Sometimes. Or is it just like you just fling it on when you're ready? It depends. Like yeah. twigs, like I actually got a, That was hard. That, yeah. that, that was creative. I yeah. think like that. But like the rest of them is just... Yeah, yeah, just there, it's there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, that uh, that one with the Jason mask that you did for mm, Twix mm. was that custom done? No, nah, you know, nah. Because oh, like yeah. obviously the original Jason movie, it was like the white mask. Yeah, yeah. So like you got it to silver. Did you did you find it somewhere? Did someone find it for you? Like, someone found it for me still. Yeah. Because yeah. I thought that was like custom done, and I was like, yo, like you yeah. took it in a dick. Because you had like the great yeah, outfit yeah, on yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. I thought like you would have got a Jason mask and nah, just had it know. sprayed on. Nah, innit? you know, a lot of people have worn that that mm. mask, that mask as well. Still, yeah, so, yeah like it yeah. wasn't even a. Yeah, they're rating it still. Yeah. Um. So when it comes to fans, because obviously like you got a hardcore fan base. Mm. Um. For those that like say fans that you've met. Have they ever been like, I was trying to say the right words here. Have they ever been like, they've been able to approach you regardless of the bally being on? Um, is it a thing that they're quite cautious or is it a thing like, I don't care about the bally. I'm seeing my guy instantly because I'm a fan of his work. Man, the death or shock of the bally thing. So, yeah. yeah, man. That's that's one reason why I kind of wanted to take it off, in it? Because yeah. it makes me way more approachable. Yeah, Way yeah, more yeah, approachable. Yeah. Imagine I've even gone to fucking... Um, I've gone to find the park in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I seen that. Re- yeah. How did how did that go for you, by oh, the way? Six still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did but you meet? Do you manage to eat any, meet anyone backstage? Or you just like, like I have done my set. I'm done. Yeah, I've done my set. I'm yeah. done. It. I'm yeah, done yeah, that. Yeah. I'm trying to chat to Gal and that. Like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I like, know the yeah, one there. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. I just like I, I like enjoying in it. That's yeah. how I am. You know, like I'm I'm chilled, but I like enjoying. But yeah. So anyway, as I was saying. Find the part now. Mm. I'm trying to. I'm trying to connect with the fans while I'm on stage, innit? I'm mm. trying to go up to them. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. like, nah, 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 nah. They're jumping yeah, back, yeah, you yeah. know. Don't, no, no, I don't no, want to no, get no, jumped on. Don't you touch me, me like, don't touch me. <laughs> and I'm thinking, oh, it's the belly thing. That's yeah, mad. yeah, that's what's the putting off, innit? Still with girls as well. Like, as soon as girls see the belly, they get put off. Really, they get to put off store. They don't want to see no bellies. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, imagine, imagine all the potential, like the, yeah. all the all the mad potential that you'd be getting. Because mm-hmm. like already you got the fan base. If the mm-hmm. galley was seeing it, bruv, I'm not, I'm not. imagine. I still get girls with a mask on, you know. Okay, okay, okay. They, lo- okay. they love a man in a mask. They like you know? they like a man with a mystery. Yeah, man. Yeah. Have man. you ever seen like the the mask of Zorro, uh, Antonio Banderas? 
as an old school no. film. It's basically like a, a guy that has a sword. And yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. And he's got the eyes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know a different Zoro. Yeah, the one from One Piece. I, I know, swear yeah, that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I've Zorro. heard of that. Yeah, one. yeah. That's well, I heard about that Zoro still. Mm. Yeah, he's got the. Yeah, it's yeah. got the scar on and everything, yeah, yeah. and then like. He's getting all the, he's getting the gal. It's yeah. like, it's probably his accent as well that yeah, adds yeah, to it. You yeah, know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, boom. So, so I, it, it sounds like from what you're saying to me that eventually you may be deciding that you want to take it off. Is yeah. it like a, a strategy towards when that happens, or yeah. is it just like no, it'll it, happen when it happens? There's a strategy. Okay. Do you want to know what the strategy is? Hey, is it is it exclusive? I got I got to get some facial hair and uh, oh <laughs> see <laughs> oh <laughs> see okay okay, okay. <laughs> right okay now we're getting yeah, to it. okay because yeah, yeah. we were saying before because like for everyone seeing like yeah. I got a beard on yeah yeah, yeah. so I, so realistically is when you get that beard mm. it's coming off yeah but I'm kind of pissed because you told me it took you like 32 years yeah, to, make, bro, to get your I'm one thirty two right I'm gonna be okay, waiting thirty two okay. years for right, real talk real talk it took me. Okay, I'd say 25, it was kind of really That's still just long, patches. bro. That's decades, and that? No, I know, I know you're young, but I'm <laughs> yeah, saying, like, but, but it, the thing is, if it comes to genetics, yeah, like, if, if you got it, you got it. If you're not, then yeah, you're probably yeah, shaped in it. I don't think it. I have it still. Yeah. I don't think I have it still. Yeah. But then, uh, then again, it, it depends on the genetics. I mean, yeah. I take it from my dad's side, but yeah, yeah, he's yeah. never around, so I don't yeah. know whether the beard was there still mm, for yeah. me. Mm. Them ones. Um. So, Twix, your latest project, yeah. uh, you got that out. Firstly, um, is it is it your favorite chocolate? Do you eat chocolate? Yeah, I do still. Yeah, yeah. What well, is is Twix your favorite chocolate, or is that a bit cheesy for me to say that? It it was, you know. Yeah. Like, it was up there. Now I can't. I don't even. I don't even want to see a Twix bar now. Oh, like, okay. Like, what's your What's your favorite chocolate then? Kinder Bueno, hundred. Quit. Sorry. Kinder Bueno. Oh really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. What oh, about you? Mine. Um. I'm in between. I like Whisper. I like. Um. I like Maltesers. Yeah. Um. I like anything white chocolate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love anything white. Like you know, like in the mornings before I go to work, yeah, mm. I always get a white chocolate flapjack. Okay. Have white you ever chocolate? tried that? No. no. Where do you get that from? Eminence or something? Bro, no. <laughs> man said. Man said Eminence. Yeah, because that's coming up like that. No, bro. You that's can go. Listen, you can get that white. from any off license, bro. Swear down, yeah. White Swear that. L- listen, there's one I believe is L- there's a shop called Lundis. Oh yeah. And they're all over the gaff. Yeah. yeah I'm but like, if you get that, like seventy nine p. Bro, it will change your life. So then, yeah. I swear on my life, yeah. Right, cool. And if you don't like white chocolate, when you come back to me, we speak next. Then obviously you can uh, you can have me up. So <laughs> <laughs> the other ones there. Um, so, I mean, obviously you know you got an EP. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm hearing that you got in the pipeline. Um, yeah. When when you looking to release that? Ooh, probably like the beginning of next year. Okay. Beginning so of next oh, year, just so. before proper brexit comes yeah, into play yeah. in it yeah <laughs> so it's like make sure everyone can, can yeah. get that before it yeah. hits yeah no no one's there yeah. um so going forward you say you got an ep coming uh is it has it got a title yet oh no not yet no nah, you're still you're still not waiting yet. on that because yeah. a few interviews i've seen and you haven't got to yeah. come to that like it does yet. have a title wouldn't it yeah. we've we've got the name the team's got the name oh, okay so you're kind of keeping it under wraps yeah but i don't I don't know if I still want to run with the name though, isn't it? Okay, so yeah, we've got keep it a mystery. Yeah, keep it a mystery. Yeah, yeah. Um, so is it going to be a mixture of? Because I mean, right now we're in the Beat Freak Studio with um with the Beat Freaks. Like, how how did you connect with them in the first place? Because we're in the infamous studio right now. Like, yeah. all the magic happens. How did you get in touch with them? Basically, what happened? Uh, they wanted me to get on their remix, so. Mm. so Man got on the remix. Was that one. the Swarms tune? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, with the Bally tune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So, man just thought, yeah, why not? Um, okay. Worked for them. They're like, yeah, we like the way you work. Right. Is that your tight knit crew in terms of like? So obviously you got management. Um, you know you got PR that are supporting you. Yeah. Are they your main production duo, or do you work at other producers? Um. I can't like, I hardly work with them, you know. We might have to have a little chat about that one. Still. Yeah, I think but we might have to. Do you know what it is, if yeah? you're in here, then yeah. it makes sense, isn't but it? Where I do drill, mm. it's kind of different, isn't it? I don't think these men do drill, yeah. it, so. Um, okay. I've heard of um, Dr. Vase, they do drill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, thought, well, I saw f- Dr. Vase in, um, I see them in the IB for Storm. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. Took their numbers and that, spoke to them, Storm. Do you reckon there's be- something in the pipeline with them? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent, still hundred percent. Because they work with Blanco, and obviously, like you know, they're hardcore and heavy on drill, so. You know the ones there. Um, so before we wrap up, I've got a little quick game for you. Um, so it's actually just quick fire, light hearted questions. Yeah. Uh, you know, just to kind of get a little bit more about you. Yeah. Because we need to get to know you. Our media spotlight UK audience need to know yeah. you. Yeah. Um, so first off, do you have a celebrity crush? <laughs> 
I, yo, I can see the smile. Oh, I can shit. see the smile for the Bali already, bruv. Oh, shit. Fuck. You do. I yeah, know I you do. do. So. I know you do. <laughs> what? Do you have to say who? Yeah, of course. Of course. Oh, who would be your <laughs> Mrs. Quen face? Mm. There has to be someone, like, even for, like, it could be American, could be UK, could be anywhere. It might be someone that you watch and thought, like, yeah, I want a piece. I want, I want her. She, she, she's stupid, yeah, but man's feeling um, Jada, Jada Wada, so. Yeah? Yeah, man. Okay, man, like that's a new one, you know. She's sweet, so. Oof. Okay, okay. You know, you know who Jada Wada is. Yeah, of course mm. I do. Nice. Ah, okay, okay, nice okay. One. I see I see where you're coming from, the whole mm. stupid thing, but you can you mess with that. Yeah. I hear that, I hear that. Um where would you move if it would be outside the UK? Oh uh, I had this conversation with someone yesterday, you know. Okay. I don't even think I wanna say it, cause people are gonna start uh, fucking, trying, trying to, fight, to, trying trying to fight. take my places okay. on that. Yeah, okay. so like okay. well, I know, I know. But I know. keep to here for now? Yeah, yeah, I have to stack up something like a couple hundred stacking. bags still. Like Europe or America or Caribbean? No, definitely Europe. I'm not yeah. in Europe. Okay. Fucking, like, probably I don't know, like Greece. Okay. Uh, France. Okay. Even Prague. Prague ain't too far. So, uh, do you know what? I was meant to go to Prague, yeah, but then I lost my passport a week before. Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I didn't Fuck go in the end, so I was so pissed. Yeah, yeah. But I might go next year. So. Yeah, yeah. But my friends told me that Prague is a really good place yeah, to go. Yeah, I heard as well. Yeah, there's bear culture and yeah, the women man. as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I heard the women are Blood, <laughs> blood are cra- It's crazy. I heard the women and, anyway, I, I'm just pissed I didn't get my uh, my shot over there. You get me? <laughs> um, if you were a woman for a day, what would you do? I know it's a bit far fetched, but I'm a I'm a weird guy like that. Link man, in it. See you. Yeah, see what they do, in it. Yeah, okay. Like, Try to figure I'll, out. I'll, yeah, I'll link. I'll link the girl them and that and say, yeah, like, what's going on tonight? This yeah. Be like, are we linking man and that? Oh, okay. like, I, I just I, I don't know. I just want to see how girls think and that how girls okay, work. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because I mean, it annoys me sometimes how I don't know what you're thinking, yeah. especially like in relationships. Or yeah. Like so. some, I can't like some girls. Sometimes girls are a bit. Like they're a bit confusing, isn't it? Right. <laughs> so if I can be a female for a day, I'd at least mm. like to see how they think. Okay. And I'll link man. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Say no more. Say no more. Uh, what car would you want to drive? If like what? your dream car. I don't even have one, you know. No. No. Like, like Ferrari or Mercedes. I'm not really or into Bentley cars, like. I don't know. No. I can't lie. Like. I don't. I don't think I really want to drive. I have. Mad road rage store. Mm. Uh, mad road rage store. So do you drive? I think it's a little. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, fucking. I think it's a little man syndrome thing still, but <laughs> fucking. I got. <laughs> I got a mad road rage store. <laughs> like it's mad. Like listen, I'm, my I'm on this. I'm on this. T- turning off my car. <laughs> jump out and that. Like, jump out. Middle of the road. It. Just say, come then. Come then. <laughs> I swear <laughs> down. There's always the Uber drivers. Like, was, always was, getting me mad. But have you tried the the captain and the bolt things? They're a bit better. And plus the cheap. No, I'm cheap saying like. Well. I'm always saying like. Right, cool. It's always the cab drivers that, oh, okay, piss, just in that, general. that just drive like idiots. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Pissing man off and that. Was not it, trying they to give my way. Fast or too slow? No, they're just not trying to give me way. Always trying to force themselves into places that they can't force themselves. Ah, uh, like, yeah, do they long just dri- routes. Yeah, they just drive like twice. Still, <laughs> like, like, what if you crash into me right now? If yeah. you crash into me right now, uh, mad what? things. Mad Most things. of you lot can't even speak English and that. You're gonna fucking. Fam, I swear, that, I, I, hey, I'm all getting wound up now on that. All right, cool, cool. cool. <laughs> all right, I'll try something else. Um. If you're stuck on an island, uh, what three things would you have? And it can't be a phone, tablet, or laptop. It has to be like three other things. Kial. Okay, I rate that. Food. Okay. Gyal. So, gyal, <laughs> gyal, gyal, more gyal, and food. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right, cool, cool. Say nothing. <laughs> Favorite film? Uh, it's out of the wood. Okay. Minister Society. Nice, nice. Juice. The one with Ice Cube, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Juice. Okay, okay. So I don't push, so. Okay, uh, Power or Empire? Power, obviously. Uh, Ghost get shot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this coming out later. Yeah. All right, cool. You're yeah, lucky. It'll come out later. You're yeah, lucky. Yeah. I put it on my snap, like, two days before it came out. <laughs> Everyone was pissed. Right. Everyone was pissed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, for Power fans, you'll know now, innit? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, two more. Um, never be able to see again or hear again. That's a hard one, you know. Mm. No, I definitely hair again still. Car. Really? Yeah, I want to be able to see some some ling things in that. Okay, some but nice then what happens if you want to see some peng things and you can't, re- you, you, if you don't hear them? S- I don't know. Sign language, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah them ones, maybe. Yeah, you, you're saying that you would rather, you rather hear and not see. 
No, I'd rather see than not her. Okay. I think that'd be most anyway, because yeah. I, I want to be able to see the yeah. world. Yeah. Um, and finally, what will be your ultimate goal? So if there's if there's a thing that you want to leave as your legacy, and I've, so firstly, your ultimate goal, like, what would it be first? Be able to move the family back mm. home, but... Oh, where, you, where your family from originally? Ghana. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. back home, but... Okay. Just... We're up, though, this time. Okay. I feel like... Do you know what I feel like, Kevin? Yeah. I feel like my family mm. or my my grandparents brought their children here to work, mm. work hard, mm. get their money up, mm. and then go back mm. and build to get it for, for the legacy. Yeah. So... By the time I'm older, mm. I'm pattern. I can do add something onto the and onto then the you legacy can look after and then your children whenever to get, that comes to around. Get. Yeah. So, fucking, I feel like that's what that's what that's what the plan was, isn't it? Mm. So I'm gonna just carry on, China. Okay. And then what the would plan. you want to leave behind as your legacy? Like when, you know, when you've hung it up and you know you're settled and retired or whatever it is you do, like what would you want to leave behind as a legacy to say, Quenface is that guy? My kids, isn't it? Okay. okay. Your kids are always your legacy, isn't it? From when wow. they're patting. Mad. Yeah, from Mad. when they're patting and that. It shows okay. a lot about you, innit? I mean, you got plenty of time. I mean, yeah. you're young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before yeah. it happens definitely, to have definitely, kids. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Bro, Quenface, it's been an absolute pleasure, my guy. My guy. See you, see yeah, I mean, see so nice much meeting. fun, man. I enjoyed yeah, this, definitely, man. Definitely, definitely, definitely. If you could tell an audience where they can catch you on all the socials, tell her right here, my man. Instagram, Quenface.1. You know how it gets. Do up my thing. Done, no. Simple, Bro. plain, done. Out. This is J Bills for Media Spotlight UK with Drills, Quenface, Achie, leaving a legacy for years to come, and we out. Peace. Out.